Good morning, Washington. Welcome to Dave TV, uh, the edition for first. We're probably going to do two editions today because the ratings come out at later today. I think I think they do. I don't know. But uh, anyhow, uh, radio ratings that is. But it's the 14th of June, 2011, and uh, I'm just sitting here reading my. Uh, this is fascinating, fascinating reading. The customer privacy notice for cable TV, high-speed internet, and phone services. It came with my Comcast bill today. And, you know, if you if you want to go to the beach this summer and your Kindle's busted and you know, your Nook doesn't work, you know, and you want some good reading, this is really fascinating. I mean, you know, look at look at the, look at the size of this. You, you know, people are really going to sit down and just, you know, read how they're their uh, social security number and their address and or what they watch on TV and what they DVR and what they put on their uh, you know, on-demand menu. And, and then it's the back of this, too. This is uh, 12 of these pages. <laughs> I mean, whoa. I'm sure most people think this comes in your bill and it just goes straight into the garbanzio but man, you know, read it. You know, read it sometime, and it, it's a little bit Big Brotherish. Ooh, <laughs> interesting thing in this morning's Washington Post, the evil Washington Post. Look at that dude. That's Peter Marici. He's the uh, he's an economics professor at the University of Maryland. Talks with a very annoying kind of New York accent, and I say that because I was born in New York. I can say that. I can say that's like you know. I can say that because uh, I'm a I'm, I'm, I was born in New York City, Lenox Hill Hospital. So I'm, I am actually a native New Yorker, although I don't talk like the, uh, the quota. And uh, there he is. He's now a spokesman for Kyocera. Now, I just got to wonder, you know, Peter Marici, if you uh, don't know, recently did some guest hosting on WMAL back, you know, after Fred Grandy left back in, you know, March, April-ish. They had a couple months where the station was just kind of trying out a whole bunch of people. And they were, um, they tried out uh, Peter Peter Marici. Now, Marici got on the air one day, and he managed to trash Fairfax County's police department, and he managed to trash Fairfax County's schools and their teachers. You know, he, he really, he really, he made a couple of Nazi-type references to the police and the school department. I remember that. I heard it on the air. Does Keo Sarah really want a guy who did that as their spokesperson? I'd just be interested to see if, uh, you know, uh, some folks who live here in Fairfax County who actually like our police department, uh, uh, like this guy who uh, literally trashed the Fairfax County Police Department and the school system. Do they really want this guy as a, a spokesperson for this, what is this, Korean or Japanese copier company? I don't know, man. Marichi, so, you know, he's not, I'm sure he's a smart guy. But it sounds like his uh, brain and his uh, – the part of your brain that says what you're supposed to you – know, censor what you're supposed to – you know, you get a lot of things. You think a lot of things and you say, nah, I better not say that in public. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. This guy rugged me the wrong way. I'm glad they didn't pick him as a permanent host for WMAL's morning show. But uh, uh, I, I really wonder if Kiyosara did, really did a good background check on – what he uh, what he said on the air there. I, I really think what he said on the air was offensive to a lot of folks who live here in Fairfax County, and maybe Theo Sarah might not want him as a spokesperson. But that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> um, speaking also about WMAL, um, I've been listening a lot to the morning show, and I do like Brian Wilson. I think he's a wonderful choice, and I do like uh, Brian Neiman also. For the morning show, the morning majority, and I, you know, I like Mary Catherine Ham. I, I thought she was really good. She's from the, uh, from that Tucker Carlson site. What's it called? Uh, Tucker.com. What I don't know what it is. The, the Daily Baller, Caller, Waller, Beast, whatever. The Daily, whatever. Anyhow, I like her. I think she's funny. She's a little, you know, a little too conservative for me. I didn't think her uh, little video on Metro's. Uh, Escalators was terribly funny the other day, but, you know, what the hell. We're not all great on the the web like I am video-wise, right? I mean, I'm just born to be great on it, right? <laughs> but anyhow, um, I liked her. But I think now that she's 
got the gig on the morning majority show. I think she's lay, letting it down a little, letting her hair down a little too much and becoming a little too informal. And I, it doesn't sound like she's preparing herself enough for the show. You know, she she blew a uh, blew an ad break there at 7.30, made some mistakes. She's She kind of comes off... A little like, hey, aren't I horrendous? Aren't isn't everything I'm going to say wonderfully funny? You know, now I just don't like that. It's kind of like almost a Jay Leno-ish thing. You know, Jay Leno, he comes out and he kind of goes, well, this is I'm really funny. Ah. You know, he has that kind of attitude which personally I don't like. Uh, you know, maybe Mary Catherine's just getting a little bit, getting feeling her sea legs there at the uh, the sinking WMAL Titanic USS whatever. But uh, I do think she ought to. Tone it back a little bit, you know, cut the humor a little bit, and go back to maybe that the, when she was when she was preparing for the, you know, doing the tryout because she was better in the tryouts than I think she is on the air now. She needs to get rein it in a little bit, you know. Uh, whatever. That's just my that's just my wild musings. What's the big news today? The big news: LBD. DC Radio veteran Al BD has landed the afternoon gig at uh, WZBA The Bay 100.7. That's a classic rock station owned by Shamrock. It's actually one of the few locally owned radio stations, commercial radio stations. I, I believe. Where's Shamrock? Are they based locally? Uh, I'm, uh, they're based somewhere in the area, so it is fairly a local station. Over the years, Albie's worked at WPGC. Uh, he's worked at the old uh, Jam and Oldies at Hot 99.5. He worked at PGC, as I said, for many years. He's worked at the old uh, WXYV in Baltimore. He's worked at Mix 106.5 in Baltimore. He's worked at the old uh, Arrow and uh, the Globe there on 94.7 and at XM. Great guy, but, you know, I was a little hurt that Albie, they, they sent out the press. You know, I love this, too. These companies, they send out the press releases to all the trades. They send them out to all access and radio info, and they never include DCRTV. You know? You know. <laughs> I have to hear it through the grapevine. They never you know, I, you know, I am the most powerful media source in the Washington market, uh, Baltimore market, and they don't send me. I mean, Albie doesn't even drop me a line. Hey, Albie, who loves you, baby? I love you, baby. Remember that. Who stood by you when you didn't have a radio gig? I did. And then Albie, you know, now he's at the big time. He's the big time. He's working at ZBA the Bay. Oh! I love you, Albie. But show some love back. <laughs> Bob Edwards is going to be at the Arlington uh, Central Library uh, tonight, which is Tuesday, the 14th at 7 p.m. to talk about uh, his new memoir, which is coming out soon, A Voice in the Box. I like Bob Edwards. He's a really cool guy. Of course, he's an NPR vet. He now works at Sirius XM. Uh, one of the... One of the Legends of Washington area broadcasting. DCR TV broke this news. The Gazette, the Washington Post on Gazette, serves the Maryland suburbs of DC with uh, newsrooms in Gaithersburg and Laurel. They've laid off seven to eight different people, uh, including a bunch of photographers and reporters and a business editor. So, uh, you know, we shall see. They're also having fewer co reporters covering the Maryland State House. So, uh, nobody else has reported that. Now there. <laughs> All right, folks, that's the big news headlines for the moment. Uh, I still think Dan Steinberg is a nasty SOB. But there, that's just me. Otherwise, I th I, you know, he's cute. He's bald. I like bald guys. But, you know. <laughs> you know, I think to some degree, some of these Washington Post blogger people are just a little bit afraid of getting the powers that be in the D.C. media market mad at them. So I think they do a little bit of ass-kissing. I think Steinberg does a little bit of ass-kissing over there at WTEM and WJFK. And you got to respect it. You know, uh, if these guys at JFK and the TEM cut him off, then <laughs> his career kind of goes down the tubes. So I think, you know, I don't have to do that so much, but I think, you know, some of these posties do. Sad. But then again, that's life in the big league, right? All right, folks, that's it for DCRTV, Dave's TV for whatever. This morning, I'll probably be back this afternoon with some ratings information. And don't forget to stay tuned.